In today's video, we'll be looking at a fun build I made for the Hunter Exotic arm piece, Liar's Handshake. Let's get to it. For this build, I used Top Tree Arc Strider so that I could use Combat Flow along with Gambler's Dodge. So a melee kill recharges my, my dodge ability and dodging near enemy recharges my melee. So melee kill, get back dodge, dodge, get back melee. Then adding combination blow allows me to trigger a health regen and I can increase my melee damage. Adding liar's handshake to the mix then can allow me to add more damage to my melee once I proc counter punch and this melee kill will heal me instantaneously so it kind of you know get rid of the health regen ability of combination blow because you instantly get back your health then to top this all off I used some war mine cells with a splash of charge with light mods to add survivability to the build because you'll be up in enemy faces all the time so for my war mind cells I used chosen of the war mine this states that collecting or destroying a war mine cell creates a concussive blast that pushes enemy away this gives me some amount of breathing room for a brief period because it can literally push the enemies up into the air and then they fall back down to the ground. I also used sheltering energy which states that collecting a war mine cell grants an overshield. This overshield lasts for 20 seconds and can regenerate if it isn't fully depleted. I also added Warmind's light so that I can become charged with light when collecting a Warmind cell. This can then enable reactive pulse. So while I'm charged with light, whenever I take damage, I can emit a burst of damaging arc energy. This consumes one stack of charge with light. And to top this all off, I used hands on in my helmet, which allows me to gain bonus super energy on melee kills. And I used the Aikilo shotgun that has trench barrel. So getting a melee kill increases the damage of the weapon for a brief period of time or until three shots are fired. So this build is just for fun in lower tier content. Definitely not for grandmaster or high high end game level content, you know. It's just for fun in case you want to switch things up a bit and you want to step out of the meta for a while, you know? Give yourself a break from the D2 meta. The D2 meta is very... It's very meta. C can't put it in any better words. It's very meta. And sometimes you need to explore other exotics. Explore other builds just for fun. Otherwise, you'll be doing the same thing every day right guys and you don't want that i don't want to see you guys do that i want to see you guys have fun have fun man so i hope you enjoyed the video remember to subscribe and like the video if you like it dislike the video if you dislike it and did i say subscribe yeah i think i said subscribe so you know subscribe and yeah i'm out i'm just let whatever gameplay footage is being shown, don't let them it. And I'm you know, we'll just babbling on a little bit, you know, babbling here, babbling there. And yeah, alright, I'm gone. I'm out.